I'd like to explain a little bit about the engine. It has uh, die cast trucks. Nice scheme to it. Has a little support here and has step ladder which is metal. Also it has a lot of nice features. You see the rivets work over in this area here. You have an operating coupler. You have two headlights and you have two grab rails, one on each side. You have your number board and it lights. And in the glass you have little windshield wipers. On top you have two horns, one facing front, one facing back. And on the top you have one, two, three, four grills, but they're all plastic mold and also this workmanship here, the little stacks, that's also part of the plastic mold. And we have four clear through windows. And then in the back here, on your rear truck, you have another little work platform here, and you have two metal steps. You have two figures and you have a, the engineer and the fireman which you can see on the side and it has plastic on both sides and of course it has its the famous uh, wall bonnet uh, scheme and in the front you have the Santa Fe name right in here. Altogether, it's, it's a nice looking engine for, you know, O-gauge uh, engine. And I just want to explain a little bit about it and I'll run, I'll run the, the train set. And we'll get it started. Hi, it's Nick. I'm making this video of a train set I bought in 2006, which was the L Cap and Ready to Run set. It's a passenger set. I always wanted a Santa Fe passenger set when I saw it in the uh, catalog. I said, This is the one I wanted. Uh, it, it's, the engine has the train sound uh, system in it. engine is a classic FT diesel locomotive and it has some uh, crew torque but the way that you get the crew torque is if you let it run for 30 seconds it starts crew torque starts talking and then you wait another 30 seconds and more until the point where the dispatcher tells him that he has a clear track to go so it takes a little while That was the first 30 seconds. And uh, I'm just going to let it run another 30 seconds and get another crew tour. Now, if I get a little too impatient, what I could do is blow the horn and I would get a crew tour. But if you blow the horn after the crew tour, if you blow another horn, then it will add another 30 seconds. But anyway, I thought it was kind of fun. The rest of the cars uh, it came with three passenger cars and one uh, observation uh, car. Just wait and see if it'll talk the second one. But I'll, I'll explain a little bit more. The year after that, in 2007, in the cat catalog, they had a, um, I believe they called it. I that's kind of neat. It's the uh, Vista Dome which I purchased in 2007. And then a year or two years after that, in the 
Cat Art, they had the uh, mail car, which is right behind the engine. Now, when the, when, the, when the train goes by, you're going to see figures in it. I put the figures in it. Uh, Lionel, when, you, when I bought it, Lionel didn't have the figures in it. Uh, but I like the, I always like the Santa Fe, and I always like the wall bonnet, the uh, steam of it, and, and the, uh, the engine itself. It, it's just fascinating. This particular engine, when I was a young boy, I think it was Grand Central Station, we used to have the New Haven uh, engines, and they were similar to it. I don't know if they were the F7 or the F, it might have been the F7. And when I looked up, I was standing in front of the diesel, and when I looked up, and of course, you know, when you know, Everything looks good, but I, I just really love the nose of the engine. It's fascinating. So I have I have another Santa Fe, which I mentioned in another video. My dad bought it for me when I was in 1957. He came in a B car. Matter of fact, speaking of a B car, I bought another B car, which was a Legacy Sound. I don't have it on this train right now, but I'll make another video with it. And, it, and <clears throat> when I do, I'm going to shut off the sound of the engine that you hear now, and we'll use the sound in the B car, and it's more for the, I think it's for a uh, F7. And it has crew talk, but the crew talk only operates when it's stationed. And when it's running, you can blow the horn or, or the, uh, the bell. So, and then it also has different levels of speed. The engine, I'll do that. But right now, I don't have that with it. That's just okay, I just want to clear the air to check. Um, I'm going to get with a whole bunch right there. Uh, yep, we're ready to go. Thank you. Over. I'm going to just try one more 30 seconds. If it does, and I'll hit the horn. And I think it'll tell it to go. You might see me in the video when I do it because it's conventional and where the uh, transformer is, uh, you'll probably see me in my hand. But anyway, uh, give it another few minutes. Now I understand why Lionel came out with the cold rail sound and then it went to Legacy. You don't have to wait for all of this. But uh, when I bought it in 2006, I don't think they had the I know they didn't have the legacy, I don't think they had the, the, uh, the real sound. But I was just getting back into it at the time. You know, this was all new to me, and I, and I just enjoyed it so much with all the sounds of the engines and the horn and the crew talk. And I just you know, moved up to real sound and legacy sound. So, uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope you fellas enjoyed it. Sorry it's taken so long, but I just wanted to give you the effect of this when I first started. But, uh, we're ready to hop back here. Uh, okay, give me a second. All right, now what I'm going to do is blow the horn, and I, I believe they'll get permission to, to go. Fast, you can't see the passenger. 
Maybe I'll slow it up a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Also in this set, they said when it goes fast and then you cut it down half the speed, you'll have the squeaking of the brakes. But it's not like the legacy type of squeaking of the brakes. Let's see if I can get it to do it. That's, that was the squeaking of the brakes. It sounds almost like a horn. Uh, but anyway, that's the technology they had. Hope you're enjoying it. After this, I'm going to put on the beat car and I'll make a movie with the beat car behind it and you'll have the sounds of an F7 diesel. You won't hear this sound as it's coming out of this particular engine. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying it. There she's got me from. Now, as it comes around, I'll... Uh, I'll try to hook up the other part that we're telling you about. Let's see if I can get it. Now the male car is right behind the diesel. And this is the diamond car right there. The observation. I'm going to end the movie now, and I'll put on. I'll make the other movie with the B car.